Welcome, Annie Collins here for Paper Sweeties. Today we'll be creating this Happy Easter card. Let's go over the products I used to create this card. We used the Paper Sweeties stamp called Build a Gnome and the new additional Build a Gnome add-on spring. So with the Build a Gnome, you have all the parts to build the actual gnome here. And we're gonna create a girl gnome, so we'll be using the little braids. Here's the beard, we're gonna cut that twice to create our gnome. I'll show you here in a little bit. So this is the Build a Gnome add-on spring edition, and it has the big word Easter. It has a few elements here like, um, well, actually a few sentiments like happy, hoppy, bunny, hugs and kisses, mom, mothers, and there you have the bunny ears, the hat, a flower with some leaves, eggs, an egg, a carrot, and an Easter basket. And we have the sweet cuts that go with the Build the Gnome add-on here. It cuts out the word Easter and all the elements. Um, the other little small sentiments, you'll have to cut those out on your own. We're going to bring in a Ray um, stencil, the Distress Oxide Lemon Squeeze Lemonade, a blending brush, and I went ahead and stamped and cut and colored all of our elements. I'm also going to bring in a piece of doodle bug paper. This is from down on the farm. I created a little hill with it. Here's our Easter, and the Easter sweet cut cuts out all the spaces between our letters. I went ahead and colored that in a pale purple or a pastel purple, and I added some gold highlights with my Sakura Jelly Roll pen in metallic gold. So we have our little Easter basket, and here's her, the little body, which is in yellow. We have all the other little um, elements. Let me move the hat out of the way so you can see the elements. And the hair. If I can get out of my tray. All right, so we have a little flower. The leaf that goes with the flower. We have some, here's the leaf. We have a few carrots, a few eggs, larger eggs, and her Easter basket, her nose, and hands. So let me move this out of the way so I can show you our um, gnome here. So I did her hat in yellow with a little purple brim and I also did some highlights with a purple metallic purple gel pen. I did those same highlights in her hair and then the, her body here. Her shoes have the highlights as well. Now for her face, I um, stamped and colored the beard but I flipped it upside down. So this is the beard from Build the Gnome. I flip it upside down, so I cut that twice just to let you know. I flip it upside down and I colored it into skin tones and gave her some lovely cheeks. That'll be for her face. And then the other portion, I did, the, I did it again, and this time I flipped it and I colored the hair, I mean I left it as is, and I colored her hair, which would be her bangs for her, her little hair here. And then you'll place the hat and it'll cover it up and you just have these little bangs sticking out from the bottom of her hat. And then you'll have her little braids right here. And that's how I created the little girl gnome with some nice hair sticking out of her hat. All right, so let's clear all this. Um, well, let me move this out of our way and to show you that we're gonna be using an 80 pound piece of cardstock to build our card panel on and a 110 pound card base for our card and we're creating an A2 card um, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So let's get started. I went ahead and added my stencil onto that white card panel and I'm using the Squeeze Lemonade Distress Oxide just to do my sun rays. I want this to be a nice sunny spring day so I'm using this stencil from my stash which is the sun rays and then I'm going to fill in the circle for the sun here with more of the Squeeze Lemonade. I'm going a bit darker here, but not super dark. I want everything to stay nice and light. Now I'm going to trim this down to four by five and a quarter so that I have a nice, lovely frame all the way around our card. And it's going to be white on white, a white card basically onto white. So I'm going to adhere a little hillside on here. We're using some Barely Art glue to do so. And I'm going to adhere it towards the bottom and I'm going to trim off any of the excess that's left over. Get that out of our way. Once that's done, we can start building our gnome. 
So I have her little body, her hat, her face, and her hair part. So, and there's her hands and her little nose. So we're gonna go ahead and add here our hair to our hat. Getting it adjusted. I'm gonna add her, her little braids, one on each side here. Just put a little bit of glue on the top of her braids, just like that. And I now tuck it right behind the bangs and the hat. Now I'm going to add a little, add the face, get that adjusted. And then I'll add here the entire head to the body. Now the nose and the little hands, I have foam dots behind it, little small foam dots. And I put some of the pink highlights basically for her nose on the top and a little bit darker towards the bottom. I'm gonna have her holding her little Easter basket in the center here. So I'm gonna place a few foam dots on the back of the basket so that it's right there popped up just under her nose. And then her little hands will go on either side of her basket. That gives it a nice amount of dimension, but not too much. I'm gonna add a little flower to her hat, and I also have a little foam dot behind the flower, a little liquid glue on the leaf, and tuck it behind the flower. I'm gonna be centering our little gnome in the middle here. <laughs> yeah, in the center, I just said that. <laughs> I'll be placing her in the center, right in front of our sun, so that the rays look like they're just coming out from behind her. She'll be standing on the word Easter, as well as the little hill. So I'm placing that right on the bottom here, and I'm gonna um, trim the word happy down. I already stamped that onto white cardstock. I'm just flagging the end here. It was a longer piece, so I trimmed it down, and then I created a flag. I'm gonna put a little foam adhesive, and I'll be tucking that right to next to her on the left-hand side. Once I do that, I can now bring in the rest of our elements. So I'm going to tuck one carrot behind the word happy, and then I'll just place the eggs throughout, tucking some behind our words and our hillside, and then I'll add the little carrot laying down over here. I have one little um, egg left. I'm going to put that one on foam adhesive and layer it on top of that. So now I'm going to adhere our panel to so to our card base, making sure to leave my nice frame all the way around. And for finishing touches, I'm gonna to bring in some pastel gems here to just add, these are from my stash, just to add a little, you know, nice little bling to the card. And I'm gonna put them within the cluster of the eggs, one on her basket and a few up on the top. And our card is done. We use a Ray stencil with the Distress Oxide in Squeeze Lemonade. I'll build a gnome um, stamp set and then build a gnome add-on with spring and our sweet cuts to create our card. Like always, I'll have everything listed in the description box below, and I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you for being here.